Okay, so what I've got here is a Power Master starter that's been patinaed. This was a brand new starter, still is a brand new starter, and a factory Ford starter. I've got some interference issues with the Power Master starter. You can see where it is ground on the back side of the bell housing. Um, and I've put this factory Ford starter in the motor and started it with this starter. Now obviously the starter struggles when starting because it was rubbing, it was also getting pretty hot. So I wanted to show the difference in the two starters. The case length isn't really a big problem. Uh, this would actually be better for uh, you know headers and so on because it's shorter. So the case isn't what I'm worried about. It's from the mounting face to the end of the snout. There's uh, quite a few differences between these two starters. Uh, the first difference is the referencing step, um, which you can see is from here to here. The referencing step on a factory Ford starter is about a sixteenth of an inch. The one on the Power Master is about three thirty seconds of an inch, which isn't a problem. But then you get into uh, measuring the snout or the shaft of the starter and the first difference you come on now all my measurements are from the end of the step just because of the, you can get a better measurement that way so from the end of the step to where the teeth start here just right at the very edge of where the teeth start is approximately 11 16 uh, 1 and 11 16 on the power master starter and approximately 5 8 on the factory Ford starter. Then if you measure to the counterweight, I'm assuming this is some type of a counterweight here, but you can correct me if I'm wrong, uh, is two and five eighths on the Power Master starter. And it's actually, uh, you know, about uh, two and a half, a smidge more than two and a half on the factory Ford starter. So then you measure back to uh, where the spring stops start is about three and five eighths on the Power Master starter and about uh, three and a half, well actually a little bit less, about three and seven sixteenths on the factory Ford starter. The overall length from the referencing step to the end of the snout of the starter on the factory Ford starter is about five and a half, just a smidge under, closer to five and seven sixteenths. And on the uh, Power Master starter, uh, you're closer to five and five eighths, you know. Uh, so if you're measuring from the mounting flange, it's about five and three quarter, and right at five and a half. So. That quarter inch, close to a quarter inch difference is enough to cause this to interfere. So Power Master needed uh, dimensions, which I just did a rough drawing. This is not to scale, no, not to scale. This is just a quick drawing with some quick dimensions just to show them. They said they have another uh, snap or internals for this case, which I hope I can reuse this case so I don't have to re it. Um, but anyway, just a video in case the drawing isn't enough.